time, and I hope you're ready to help me, my boys and girls. Here we go, help me sing this song. Hola, hola, amigos. Hola, hola, amigos. Hola, hola, amigos. Hola, hola, como estas? And you shall say, muy bien. Great. Now, today, Miss Tanya have a cool little whoop, magic show to show you. And today we start with the topic, La Ropa. And you might be wondering, what is La Ropa? Well, La Ropa is simply clothing. And you might be wondering, clothing? Yes. For example, Miss Tanya right now, she's wearing a, a blouse, right? And this is part of clothing or of your clothes. And my blouse in Spanish has a name. I won't call it blouse in Spanish. No, 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 no. I will call it la blusa. Or uh, right now I'm wearing a sharp pants. In Spanish, I wouldn't say sharp pants. No, I will say pantalones cortos. Sharp pants, pantalones cortos. Can you help me? Can you clap with me and say, pantalones cortos, pantalones cortos. That's a little bit of, of a long word. Actually, it's a combination of two words. Pantalones cortos, which means sharp pants. Just like in English, you have two words in it. In Spanish, you have two words in it. Pantalones cortos. You hear that? And I clap it out so we can pronounce it better. Now, are you ready for this magic show? Because first one I gave was blusa, right? And then I told you I'm wearing pantalones corto. But the magic show, you have to help me. You have to count till three in Spanish. And then something will happen. I'm not gonna tell you because I want you to see what happened. Oh, guess what happened? Are you ready? So help me. Uno, dos, tres. <gasps> what happened? Am I wearing pantalones la cortos or blusa? No, I'm wearing a vestido. The magic happened and I change into a different clothing, a different ropa. And no one wearing a vestido, a dress. Can you say vestido? Vestido. Mm -hmm. Good job. Now, let's see what else the magic show will bring to us. You ready? Help me. Uno, dos, tres. Shut up. No, I'm wearing a camiseta, a t shirt. And as you can see, a camiseta has no collar, it's just a round neck, and it has no button. That's what makes it a camiseta, a t-shirt. Look at me, and I'm wearing it with pantalones cortos. Shut up! La camiseta, camiseta. All right? Wait. Something similar we call shirt. Very similar to camiseta. Pay good attention because the magic is about to happen. Help me. Uno, dos, tres. Shut up. This time, Miss Tanya is wearing a falda, skirt, and a camisa. Did I say before that the t-shirt, which is camiseta, sounds very, very similar to the word camisa, but there is a difference. Camisa is a shirt that has collar. Look at my collars and has buttons. Look at my buttons. So that's what make it a shirt. It always have a collar and buttons. So shirt in Spanish is camisa, camisa. A skirt in Spanish is falda. Skirt is falda. Muy bien. 
So now, let the magic go again. Help me. Uno, dos, tres. Shalom. This time I came back with blue sa blouse, but I'm not with any shirt pants anymore. Look, I'm with a long pants. In Spanish, long pants is pantalones largos. Two words too. Pantalones largos. That means long pants. Pantalones largos. Uh-huh. Pantalones largos. And blusa at the beginning. Miss Tanya didn't clap out the word blusa, so let's clap it. Blusa. That's super easy. Blusa. Blusa. Only two clapping. But I know pantalones, largos, long pants is a long word. And pantalones cortos, short pants is a long word too because farm up two words. Okay? So I hope you had enjoyed. And please, please practice your la ropa. And next time when I see you, I will show you what is zapatos. Mm -hmm. Zapatos. And I will show you what is calcetines. Uh-huh, I'm not going to show you it today. Next when I see you.